So our database was installed successfully. Now we'll take a look at how to create a database of our own. First, let's see if there are any databases already made. You can do so by the show dbs command. I can see that there is the LIDAR database, uh, which I created the last time. Even though I uninstalled the database, I didn't delete the collection. Since I installed it again in the same directory, the collection remained available. Should I want to create a new database, I can do so through the use command. I can name it, for example, test. I will switch to the database now. It is still not physically there, however, at least not until I put something inside. I enter, for example, some personal information about a hypothetical person, like their age and gender. Hmm. I have used the wrong kind of bracket there. So if I check the available databases again now, the test database should finally be visible. And this is how you create a database. Now I'm going to show you how to get to a database through the Robo3T tool. I will open the Robo3T program. I don't have any connection there, not yet. Therefore, I will create one. Here, I only need to confirm that I would like to keep the offered default values. Those are localhost and the default port. I save the settings and try to connect to the database. My original LIDAR database has already appeared here on the left. There is also the test database along with the collection with exactly one object. I can switch the display to see the JSON format. It will ensure better readability. I can also try enlarging the font. What we can see here is that after the insert, an extra generated ID has appeared. By this, however, we have steered slightly away into the CRUD operations chapter, and that is where we shall continue.